Real Madrid breaks its winning streak with a draw against Atletico Madrid. This has been a match with controversial refereeing, but nonetheless, Real Madrid remains the leader in La Liga. Real Madrid will have another opportunity to extend the gap with their closest pursuer next week. Let's hear the post-match analysis from Carlo Ancelotti. No, I don't think so. I believe it has been a well-played match on our part. We played good football and controlled the entire game. It was just a matter of having bad luck in the last minute and conceding a goal. We lacked a bit of height in that final play. We knew we would have to suffer from aerial, to aerial play, but despite that, we did, we did well. Clearly, we deserve to win, and we have nothing to blame ourselves for. We are happy with the game we played, and now we are leading the table, and we'll have, we'll have another opportunity to make a statement next Saturday. And that's it. We are calm because the team is in good shape. I don't want to comment on the penalties. Vinicius tried to play uh, until the last minute, but he had a neck muscle uh, strain that was bothering him. He even attempted to warm up, but the discomfort persisted. Um, given the situation, we had two options, Joselu or Brahim. However, considering our tactical approach for this match, Brahm fit better with what we had prepared, especially in the defensive aspect. Later on, Joselu came on and contributed to the game as he always does. They, they, they made those decisions. I don't know the reasons or any rationale behind them, but that's how things are. And it's pointless to, to, to look back. It's better to look forward. Uh, about Camavinga, I don't know. I, I have no information on that. Nothing has been reported to me. I suppose it was just a knock. It was a hit on the knee, nothing to worry about. Regarding Rud uh, Rudiger, we, saw, we, we tried to have, have him play. He still had discomfort this morning, and we are confident he will recover for next Saturday. <laughs> they took advantage a lot of playing with crosses into the box. So our plan was to press their full backs to prevent them from delivering crosses comfortably. We generated a lot of support among all defensive players for aerial duels, especially Valverde and Camavinga. So overall, I think we did very well. Carvajal and Nacho did a good job. Atletico had only one chance during the game and nothing more. Well, so we undoubtedly deserve to win it. No, I haven't spoken to him. But I see that in that play, they had a bit more height. Atletico put in another cross into the box, and they simply won that final duel, and that's it. Yeah, I have had very good squads, but what I highlight about this squad is the commitment that everyone has to the team. It's not about the minutes they will get. They are always ready to play, and everyone contributes, all of them. I am very happy and satisfied with that because the commitment from everyone is immense. Uh, we are not satisfied with the result because we deserve to win, as I have already mentioned. We've had games where we won in the last minute, many others with comebacks, and we were very happy about that. But now the team has to stay calm. Everyone has given their best, and we earned only holding one point, which is good. We still remain leaders with a two-point advantage over the second-place team, and we'll have another great opportunity next Saturday. So we come out of this match with confidence, satisfaction, and a lot of calmness. Are you referring to not making transfers in the transfer market? Well, this has been a match with a particular circumstance because it was a game with the absence of two central defenders creating an emergency situation. However, this emergency is over today as Chuameni and Rudiger will be available for the next match. 
Lunan did very well. He made a great save against Griezmann, played confidently uh, in aerial duels, and assisted the team in set-piece situations. He performed excellently 